welcome leos all right leos this is the airy season i want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back remember leos you have to choose the symbol that is uh, attracted to you or you are attracted to in order to exhilarate the season now the season is the season of Aries season, and it begins from May 21st until April 29th. This is a good season for you, Leos, but you, Leos, have been going through a whole lot of issues and problems and that sort of a situation. So what we see is happening and transpiring. I see you're recognizing that your money flow is uh, um, coming to an end. So whatever is transpiring, a lot of you, Leos, are recognizing that your financial flow is coming to an end. The nine alpha um pentacles in the reverse okay and i see some sort of an ending so some of you could be losing your um jobs that could be happening um because your financial flow is in the reverse and it's not about you receiving money it's about somehow your financial flow is in reverse so it's about your business or um it's not doing good or you are going to be fired from your work so that could be a situation because you see in the second week there is the six of swords a ending a lot of you are looking for a new job okay so leo's be aware of this so then as we look at the third week we see the three of pentacles it's as if you're looking for a new job but not yet anything in the um in the third week so um a lot of you um could be having problems on the work floor where um there is no teamwork that is going to be transpiring for you on the work floor there's a whole lot of issues and problem but this is like a lot of you who are looking for a new job has not received a new job yet your finance your money could be running out that sort of a thing but as you get to the last week it is going to be resolving because the five of pentacles of the financial hardship is going to be over so some of you could be receiving some sort of a new job as you leave the Aries season going in the Taurus season and this is it ladies and gentlemen a lot of people said oh you're always speaking about this or you're always speaking about that ladies and gentlemen the cards never lie okay um I channel but the cards never lie because the cards show up oh, what is happening and what is transpiring okay I clear my energies clear my cards and block my energies from evil coming out in these readings and the thing about it is that people need to understand that every sign has to go through like seven bad years and seven good years so it depends on who you are what is in your birth chart and what is transpiring a lot of you Aries has been have um, leos have been having some sort of a financial situation and normally in the um aries season because aries is your sister sign they always help you but i see in all of these readings that is coming up years i've been seeing to, uh, leo's having a very good time but it's as if something some sort of a karmatic situation that you leo's are dealing with so um i love all the signs there is no signs that i can say um because i work with a, a group of people in a collaboration of all the signs to help people to understand who they are why they were born underneath the sign so leos let's go in your reading so we have the nine of the nine of pentacles in reverse so it's venus in virgo in reverse okay um venus in virgo reverse is that some sort of a problem um with your financial flow is going to be coming up it is in reverse it's not in the upright that you're getting money so a lot of you, um, Leos, are dealing with some sort of a problem where you could have lost your job, still haven't received a job, and uh, um, you um, could lose your position or your business is not doing well. That sort of a situation is happening and transpiring. So um, expect when Venus in Virgo, Venus is in Virgo in the reverse, that means you're not happy with your financial flow. Okay, so that is a situation that is uh, is as if you're working, 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 but you are not. You have so much bills, so much situation, so much things to pay and that sort of a thing. So you recognize that you're off your flow and you're recognizing what is happening and what is transpiring and how this is affecting your flow and people are recognizing and feeling it. So you Leos are going to be feeling some sort of a financial flow in your life that is going to be transpiring. And this is going to be happening in the week of the 21st to the 28th. Um, you could be um, getting that you're fired or, um, you know, there's no more 
you know you're not going to be getting any extra hours or no extra pay it's going to be paid out this is something that is going to be affecting your financial flow so be aware of this because the first week uh, the week of the 21st to the 29th a lot of people could be getting a message that uh, you know um they're going to be fired from their job or their contract is not going to be extended these are things that happens when um, Venus is in the reverse. Venus in Virgo is in the reverse. Is that there is problem at the workplace where a lot of you could be getting fired or being let go or that sort of a thing where your financial flow is going to be getting less. So you got to be aware of what is transpiring. So if you get the message in this week, you got to look under the shoes to see how to um, manage yourself moving forward and how to accumulate your um and balance your financial flow moving forward all right so we're looking at the second week the second week is from the 29th until the 4th of april and we have the six of swords whenever we have the six of swords is a mercury in aquarius so mercury in aquarius and mercury in aquarius is about communication communication moving forward so a lot of you could have lost your job lost your position or less work is coming in and you are going to be applying for jobs okay so it's a good week if you're looking for a job the week of the 29th until the 4th is a good week to go and uh, um apply for jobs and do a jobs interview because your communication skill is going to be good if you're a salesperson communication is also going to be good whatever customer service communication that sort of a thing it is good because that is uh, upright and it's mercury in aquarian which means that your communication your thought of clear communication and um good communication is going to be good so sales people this is going to be the week for you and um, customer service people this is going to be the week for you anyone that is applying for a job this is going to be the week for you anyone that use their voices um, to do anything it's going to be the week for you so go for it and use this energy in the second week so if you're a salesperson or someone who communicates with your voice look under the energy of the rose because that is going to be telling you how to better it so that you can have financial stability this is like your best best week all right then we're looking at the third week what we have in the third week we have uh, Mars in Capricorn, Mars in Capricorn, and this is in the reverse. So Mars in Capricorn in the reverse is that some of you Leos are having some sort of a problem um, with a Capricorn. And I see a tower moment is going to be, a Capricorn is going to be ending um, something. So a Capricorn is going to get some of you fired. Um, that it could be happening because you and this Capricorn um, you could be having uh, problems with a Capricorn on the work floor and a Capricorn is going to get you fired or they're going to be firing you. OK, so be aware of this because um, it is in the reverse and Mars in Capricorn is about uh, a huge transition. Mars is about uh, um, unexpected. Mars is like a tower moment where unexpected. So this is about um, you getting fired or a Capricorn is going to make sure that you get fired for something. OK, so be aware. A lot of you who were looking for jobs uh, know, you know, you're going to be a little bit uh, the same. Um, um, and some of you wants to look for networking, connection and networking. Um, it's not going to be happening in this week. Anyone that was looking to work in collaboration and the work for people are working against you, that sort of a situation is going to be happening. People are not collaborating and not bringing out um you know the positive result in your business or um you know people are trying to work against you and your business so whatever is going on a group of people that was trying to work against you i see that this is going to be broken up an end is going to be coming in so some of you could have been receiving where people were working against you this is going to be ending okay because people are now going to be recognizing that a lot of you were being worked at uh, or work against and this is going to be ending in this week so this is going to be good so um there is good things about reverse energies because they 
are letting you and advising you of something and whoever that was being worked against this is going to be coming to an end okay and this is going to be good so that is a wonderful situation let's look at the fourth and last week the fourth and last week we have the energy of the 12th of april until the 19th of april so this is good because what is happening and transpiring is that the hardship is now going to be over some of you were in some sort of a hardship so when we look at the energy of the five of pentacles is mercury in taurus mercury in taurus okay and this is about communication with your boss Mercury in Taurus is about communication with your boss. And if there was problems with communication with your boss or people in authority or directors or managers, this is going to be over. If a lot of you were having problems with your managers, um, this is going to be over. The, whatever the problem was with your boss, it is going to be over. A lot of you were having some sort of issues with people, um, you were dealing with maybe your department, um, head of department, um, yeah, head of managers, that sort of a thing. Whatever that they, that the communication was not good, whatever problems that was there between you and them, this is going to be over because you're going to be recognizing, um, that uh, whatever the issue and the problem is that you were having communicating by communicating clearly that is the only way you're going to be resolving some sort of a problem with your boss and people are now going to be recognizing and seeing what was happening so some of you could have been having issues with a capricorn boss some of you could be having issues with a taurus boss that is going to be coming up and um these could be capricorns and taurus in business that uh, some of you Leos are having issues with, but you gotta look out because the boss, you know, the if you try to ruin a Capricorn reputation, I see they're going to be taking you Leos down because it is a situation where some of you Leos could have been working against your boss or working against a manager or working against a supervisor and they're going to be taking you down. So be aware of uh, how you give out your energies because whatever is transpiring is that you could be the one that is losing out Leo because of what has happened and transpiring. But for the rest of you who were having issues with people in higher position, this is going to be over because of some sort of a clear communication that you're going to be given to be uh, given out that is going to be resolving whatever the problem and the issue is and was. And you're going to be able to recognize uh, what was happening, what was transpiring and how to resolve uh, this sort of a situation in order to accelerate you moving forward. And this is going to be good. So um, really come back. Um, use the link below in order to choose one of these crystals. These crystals is going to be giving you more information moving forward. This is going to be a really wonderful, powerful season that is going to be bringing um, you Leah's back on track because your Leah's was a little bit off track and this season is kind of bringing you Leah's back on track and this is going to be good. Please remember to thumbs up, subscribe. Thank you for being here. I hope you will return. Please leave a message. Let me know how this season went. Use the link below and check out the monthly readings that is coming up for April. That is going to be coming out right behind these. These are season readings. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I do love you. I got to go. But remember to use the link below. Um, whenever you get to the join button, you got to join and then use the second subscription. Then you can access the symbols here. I got to go, but I'm saying namaste until next time. Yeah.